In this video, we will be assembling the Apex 8x6 Keta Resin Shed. Before you unpack, you will need to make sure you have the following tools on hand. Safety goggles, gloves, power drill, leveller, screwdriver, a hammer and a ladder. These items will ensure your assembly is smooth and easy, so be sure to check you have the right equipment before starting. Before you start building your shed, make sure you have a nice level surface for your shed. It is recommended that you construct a wooden or concrete base to use as a foundation. Clear the area of stones and remove all plants, roots and other obstacles. Then use a rake or shovel to level the surface. You will also need an extra person to help build the shed. Two sets of hands will make it much faster, easier and safer. Now when unpacking and building your shed, please be aware of the following. Some parts have steel edges, so be careful when handling the components. Always wear work gloves, eye protection and long sleeves when building the shed. Also, if you perform any maintenance in the future, we suggest you do the same. Do not attempt assembly on strong windy days or low temperatures. Before unpacking your kit, it is recommended to use a clean work surface to spread the parts out for pre-assembly. Your shed parts are all in the two packages that you have received, so identify the parts and sort them. Carefully open the packaging and start removing all the pieces. Read through all the instructions before you begin and continue to refer to them during the entire assembly process. For easy identification of the parts, code letters are imprinted on them. And please prepare these components in advance at the beginning of each stage. Ok, so let's get started. First of all, you'll need to put the floor together, which will provide you a level surface and a base for your shed. Step 1. Line up two floor panels labelled FG together and click them together. Step 2. Add the floor panels FS on either end to complete it. Make sure they are all securely locked into place. You will now need 12 SC1 screws to fix the floor panels together. Use 4 screws along the joins and you can either use a screwdriver or a power drill to get the job done. Repeat this process for all the panels. We are now going to build the shell of the shed by adding the walls. Wall panels are pre-built so you don't need to construct them. Walls are either labelled SPK or SP. The first has the window cut out so before starting, now is a good time to decide where you want your windows to go. They can either be installed on the back wall of your shed or on either of the side walls. Before moving on to step 4, you can take a moment now to first prepare all the CO screws by sliding a washer ring on. These are labelled WA and provide insulation. Preparing them all now will prevent you from losing them later on in the process. In step 4 you will need to position the wall panel labelled O on one of the corners of the floor kit. Fix the wall panel to the floor by screwing in the CO screws into the available holes. There are three places to fix the shed to the floor as you can see here. Now the next step is to set up the wall panels. You can either use wall panels labelled SP or SPK at this stage. One has the window cut out and the other doesn't. Wall panels slide easily into the provided groove in the wall panel O. You will also find grooves in the floor for the wall to click into. Step 6. To join the wall panels together, you will need support beams labelled CS. Slide one along the first wall panel and click into the flooring. Sometimes you may need to gently knock the parts into place till they click properly. Now repeat the process for steps 7 through to 11 until all your wall panels are securely clicked in place and you have the shell of your shed. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, in step 12, you will need to attach the side roof beams along the top of the left and right walls. You can either do the step as you go, like you can see in the instructions, or wait till you have finished the shell, as we have done in this video. You will need parts labelled TD2 and two CO screws. Make sure the washer rings are still around the screws before starting. Position TD2 with the lip facing on the outside of the shed and click it into place. Use the CO screws to fix it on the inside of panel O, as you can see here. That's the walls done. Now we're going to assemble the doors. Your shed comes with double doors, so there should be parts for both in your kit. In step 13 and 14, we'll be assembling the doors and it's pretty simple. First insert the DP beams along the bottom and top of the door. Then the pegs labelled HD need to be added to the corners at the top and bottom. Make sure these are completely kicked into place with no gaps. Lastly, click the hinges labelled DX to the outside edge of both doors. In step 15, we're going to hang the doors. When hanging your doors, make sure to click them in place starting at a 90 degree angle, like so. Place the bottom of the joint in the hole and move to click the middle hinge in place against the wall and finish by standing it up straight. Repeat the process for both doors. That's the doors done for now. Now we're going to move on to the roof assembly. You may need your ladder for this one just for your safety. In step 16, we start by clicking an A4 and A2 together and finish by snapping on a BC part on the top at the peak. Repeat the method for the second beam as well. In step 17, we're going to now fix them both to the shed carefully. Place the first beam on the front wall of the shed. Be careful of the door pegs and make sure it clicks in securely without forcing it. Then fix it to the inside with two CO screws. Again, check you have not lost the washer rings on the screws. Repeat the whole process again for the back roof beam. Now at the bottom center of the front beam, which is directly above the door, click in the AP joint where the hole is provided. In step 18, we're going to add the finishing touches to the roof front. All you need to do is click in place the parts labeled DUC to the inner side beams. Then click in parts CA to the back wall roof beam. And that's done. Okay, so now we're going to install the skylight. Before the roof goes on, you need to add the skylight panel labelled BM. You'll need a step ladder to ensure you do this properly and safely. Place it directly in the centre of the gable beams and click it into place. To secure its position, use the screws labelled SC9 to fix it from underneath, like so. Now we're going to add the support beams in step 20. Slide in the two support beams either side of the skylight. These are marked MT2. In step 21 we're going to add the roof sheets. Unfold the roof sheeting and slide them onto the roof. Then press them firmly into place like so. Be aware that there is a top and bottom end of these sheets and you can check the manual to see how to tell. In step 22, we're going to fix the sheets to the roof. Now along the roof sheeting, you'll see six cutout sections. Using the parts labelled RS in the kit, screw these to the roof frame. Screw all 12 RS pieces down. Lastly, screw the four corners of the roof from the inside of the shed. Remember to stop and check the manual regularly so you know you're on the right track. In step 23, we're going to add the finishing touches to the roof. 
As you can see, the roof has a slight overhang, so to ensure it is securely fixed to the shed, use 12 screws along each side to secure it. In step 24, we're going to screw on the front and back beams to the roof sheeting from underneath. Make sure you do this from the inside like so. And that's your roof complete. We're going to attach the door handles first and security features. You'll need four SC12 screws, two handles labelled GM and two parts labelled GLL and GLR. These will be both slightly different but look very similar. You'll also need four GSA shoulder washers. Begin by attaching door handle GLL to the left door using two screws and two GSA shoulder washers on the back. Repeat the same process for the right door, however you'll be using the GLR part. Next we're going to secure the hasps. On the door to the left you'll find a narrow slot in the edge by the handles. Click in part DH1 and secure it using two screws. Repeat the process by fixing part DH2 on the right hand side door using another two screws. Next you'll need to fix in the frame labelled DNS along the side of the left door using eight screws like so. Now remember to wear your safety gloves as edges may be sharp. Now click in the DLA door locks. These just click into the available slots at the top and bottom of the left door. Then click in the door stoppers labelled DS. These go in the available holes in the floor panel and at the door entry. They'll prevent the doors from swinging. To complete the shed, you'll just simply need to screw in two SC12 screws to the bottom of the left hand wall at the support beam as well as the right hand wall. And that's it, all you have left to do now is assemble the accessories, your windows and the shelf. Your kit comes with the necessary window parts and at this stage you have already installed the wall panels with the window cutouts. Grab the F out labelled window frame and slide it into place like so. Before doing this make sure it's facing the right way up and the right way round. Also make sure it is securely clicked into place by the wall by pressing it gently into the grooves. Next step is to place the window pane gently into the frame. After this, place the window frame labelled F in on the inside and fix it together using seven screws around the edge. Repeat this process for the second window. Now that your windows are complete, all we have left to do is the shelf and this too is very easy. Shelves can only be installed in the side walls and as you can see you have two options for your shelf. Today we'll build option two. First insert the two steel slats into the resin shelf parts. There are two for each shelf and this will give them stability. The shed wall already provides a support lip around the edge. So all you basically need to do is click in part S in to the middle beam. You can rest your shelf on the lip and secure them with screws. Hope you enjoyed the project and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to visit cheapsheds.com.au